It's Know Your Heritage, the quiz show series that features competing high school students testing their knowledge on African-American culture, both past and present. And now, the host of Know Your Heritage, star of stage, screen, and television, Jack Cookwood. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And welcome to the 10th season of Know Your Heritage. You know, African Americans have made invaluable contributions to the world, and for the last three weeks, we've highlighted the African American experience in Chicago. Now, if you've been playing along with us, you know that this is our exciting championship game. Now, we started with eight teams representing 32 high schools. Now, these teams competed in our quarterfinal and semifinal games. Now, the winners of the quarterfinals were the Prodigies and the Heirs, the Trailblazers and the Explorers. And the winners of our semifinal games were the Prodigies and the Trailblazers. So now let's meet these two teams, shall we? To my left, we have the Prodigies. Welcome them to our show, please. <laughs> and as you will recall, they are captained by Yusan. Welcome, Yusan. Introduce yourself, please. Hello, my name is Yusan Charles, and I attend Hales Franciscan High School. Okay. Hello, I'm Emma Johnson, and I attend Dama Vocational High School. Hello, my name is Veronica Watson, and I attend Martin Luther King Jr. High School. Hi, my name is Katrina Turner, and I attend High Park Career Academy. They are the prodigies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> to my right are the Trailblazers. Please welcome them to our show. <laughs> and they are captained by Valerie. Hi, I'm Valerie Fullwood, and I'm a senior at Morgan Park High School. Hello, I'm Reginald Barnes, and I'm a senior at Christian Finger High School. Hi, I'm Zoe Squire, and I'm a junior at Percy LeVon Julian High School. Hello, I'm Rhonda Figures, and I'm a senior at George Henry Collis High School. And they are the Trailblazers. Please welcome them. Okay, well, we've met our players for today, and they are raring to go, and so are we. So we're going to do just that right after this word from our sponsors. Stay with us. Know Your Heritage is brought to you by the McDonald's owners of Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana. People's Gas. We're putting our energy into Chicago. Coca-Cola Classic. You can't beat the feeling. Amico. Take your driving to the ultimate. And Sears. Proud to encourage the youth of our community and proud to sponsor the Chicago Public High School Academic Olympics. Emma. R.G. Woodson. Excellent, excellent. Okay, for 20, what existing institution did the black community establish by raising $70,000? Veronica? The Wabash YWCA, YMCA. Which, which answer will you give me? The YWCA. That's incorrect. Yeah. Trailblazers? <laughs> Time is up. It was the YMCA, not the YWCA. Okay, business for 10. Peter, Peter Bino and Bertram Valerie. Denver, bas Denver Basketball Nuggets. That's it. You got it. Peter Bino and Bertram Lee became principal owners of what NBA team, as you called it, the Denver Basketball Nuggets. That's right. Great. Now, this is a visual, so watch the monitors, please. Business for 20. In what year was the Vince Colors Advertising Agency founded? Veronica. 1956. Well done. Good, to, good for you. Creative Arts for 10. Lerone Bennett Jr. is the author of what African American history classic? Zoe. Before the Mayflower. Bravo. Well done. And that ends our round. So, at the end of the first round, we've got a neck and neck contest, ladies and gentlemen. The Prodigies have 60 points. Congratulations to them. But the Trailblazers are only 10 points behind with 50 points. Congratulations to both. So, what we're going to ask you, our audience members, to do right now is to stay tuned for that exciting second round coming up next. Stay with us, won't you? Welcome back. 
Okay, we're ready for round two now. The category will be civil rights, and the correct answers are worth 30 and 40 points. Here's the first question in the category of civil rights for 30. What legislation decreased the migration of blacks? The end Valerie, of migration law. To the city of Chicago for 30 points. Congratulations. Well done. Civil rights for 40. The 1920 Abyssinian affair involved the burning of what object, Veronica? The American flag. Well done. Well done for 40. For 30, what civil rights religion for 30? What civil rights organization introduced the anti-drug program Wings of Hope? The Rhonda. Chicago. Rhonda. The Chicago Theological Seminary. Ah, uh, that's incorrect. Prodigy, did you want to ring in? The Chicago branch of the SCLC. Well done, well done. That's the correct answer. Okay, for 40, AA-CAN is... Did you sign? African American Clergy Action Network. Is the acronym for what group? Well done for 40 points. Politics for 30 is the category. Name the first black elected chairman of the University of Illinois Board of Trustees, Valerie. Three seconds. Attorney Earl Neal. It was Earl Neal and your buzzer didn't ring in, but clearly you knew the answer and you were trying to buzz in. Well done, Veronica, for, for 30 points. Politics for 40. What elected office did Jesse Madison, the current head of the Park District, hold, Veronica? He was uh, vice president. Vice. He was a... Uh, <laughs> That's, you, you thought you had it, but you didn't. Trailblazers? Okay, time up. And of course, we wish you all the success in the world, too, and we also wish our players success. Uh, when we return to our game, we'll have the speed round of Know Your Heritage. Why don't you stay with us? Thank you. Know Your Heritage is being brought to you by the Illinois State Lottery. Have a ball. Play the lottery. And Luster Products, makers of PCJ relaxers, pink oil moisturizer, hair lotion, oil sheen, and holding spray. Okay. Now it's time for our third round, our speed round. In this round, each team will have 30 seconds to choose 10 correct answers from a list of 20 possible responses. Correct answers are worth 10 points. So now that our team captains are in position, uh, they will place a marker beside the 10 answers which their team selects as accurate. Okay, remember contestants, you've got 30 seconds. Good luck to all. This is the question. Identify 10 black institutions founded in the 19th century. Please start the clock now. Exhort them on, audience. Okay, 25 seconds. We're down to 20 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. We've reached the halfway point. Time's a waste in 10 seconds. And that final countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, please step away from the board. Step away from the board. Everyone wants to get that last little sticker in there before we do this. Okay, let's tell the correct, uh, the correct answers to our audience at home. They are as follows. The first Stephen AME Church, or rather St. Stephen AME Church, excuse me, Olivet Baptist Church, Beth Eden Baptist Church, Provident Hospital, Zoar Baptist Church, Pilgrim Baptist Church, Quinn Chapel, Bethel AME Church, the Phyllis Wheatley Home, and finally, Mount Zion Baptist Church. Okay, now that we have completed the speed round of our game, let's see what the scores were. The Prodigies got eight of 10 for 80 points, bringing their total to 350 points. The Trailblazers got six correct answers at 10 points each. That's 60 points for the Trailblazers, bringing their current total to 140 points. The Trailblazers. Now that we have completed three rounds of play, let's see what prizes the players are playing for. <laughs> Jeff, our teams today are competing for these impressive trophies, and all contestants will receive the InnoVision Black History Game, an exciting board game with over 4,800 questions and answers. And each player on our championship team receives a $500 scholarship. 
while each member of our second place team receives a $250 scholarship to the college of their choice. And finally, our first place champions will win a free trip to Disney World, courtesy of Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Chicago. Okay, now it's time for that all-important and all-decisive final round. Let's get started so we can see who our winners are going to be. The first category will be in sports, and the correct answers are now worth 50 points. Good luck to all of you. The first question is, in 1932, excuse me, this is a visual. In 1932, Ralph Metcalf, Valerie. 2.3 seconds. Ran the 100 meter dash in how many seconds? 10.3 is the correct. Time is up. Time is up. We see that the Trailblazers have 240 points, but we have a champion with 500 points. Yeah! The Prodigies are our champions. Congratulations to them. Well done. Congratulations. Now, we're going to be back for the very exciting awards presentation right after these important messages. Please stay with us. Well done. Well done. Well done. Welcome back to New Year Heritage. Now I'd like to introduce you to our sponsors. First we have Mr. Ozell Edwards, who is the Power Format Manager of Sears, Roebuck & Company, to present the awards to our second place team. Mr. Edwards. On behalf of Sears, Roebuck & Company, I am pleased to present the trophy to the coaches and players of our second place team, the Trailblazers. Congratulations, Trailblazers. Thank you very much, Mr. Edwards. And now I'd like to introduce another of our sponsors, Mr. Riley Davis, who is the Assistant Director of the Illinois State Lottery, to present the awards to our first place winners. On behalf of the Illinois State Lottery, I am pleased to present these trophies to the coaches and players of our first place team, the Prodigies. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mr. Davis. Now, it needs to be mentioned that scholarships of $500 are, be award, are being awarded to all of our first place winners, and scholarships of $250 are being awarded to all of our second place winners. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Margaret Burroughs, who is the founder and the director emeritus of the DuSable Museum, as well as the vice president of the Chicago Park District, to present the scholarships to our winning team. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Burroughs. On, be on behalf of the DuSable Museum, I'm happy to present these scholarships which honor Dr. Tina Roseman, originator of the Know Your Heritage Quiz, and Mr. Charles Chaka Gant, longtime quiz coach who passed away recently. Congratulations, young people. Thank you very much, Dr. Burroughs. And finally, but certainly not last at all, joining us now is Mr. Don Nash, who is the Vice President of Community and Governmental Affairs of the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Chicago. Mr. Nash. On behalf of the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Chicago, I am proud to present four all-expense paid trips to Disney World to the prodigies. This includes $200 spending money, and this is our ninth year being a major sponsor, and we at Coca-Cola are honored to be a part of such a great program. Congratulations. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Thank you very much. Now, audience, hasn't this been an outstanding series this year? Congratulations to all of our students. We have met some outstanding students during our series, and we have played some great games. Now, I hope that you have learned something new at home as well, something new perhaps about the pride in our youth. Until next year, I'm Jeff Coopwood, urging you at home to know your heritage. Until then, take care and God bless. Know Your Heritage has been brought to you by the McDonald's owners of Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana. People's Gas, we're putting our energy into Chicago. Coca-Cola Classic, you can't beat the feeling. Amico, take your body to the ultimate. And Sears, committed to the development of our community's future leaders and proud sponsors of the Chicago Public High School Academic Olympics.